Hello everyone. In this topic, we will discuss about the TCP IP reference model. TCP stands for the Transmission Control Protocol and IP stands for the Internet Protocol. So, in this model, it have 5 layers and each layer containing the protocol. So, the setup protocol is developed to allow cooperating computers to share different resources across the network. So, we can also say that, that the TCP IP reference model as a TCP IP protocol suite. So let's see the different five layers. First one is application layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and last physical network layer. Let's see in detail. In TCP IP model it is developed prior to the OSI model and in TCP IP it have five layers rather than OSI layer model having seven layers which is not equi exact equivalent to the TCP IP model. So in TCP IP model the first one is physical host to host network layer which is equivalent to the two layers data link layer and physical layer. So in TCP IP protocol defined by the underlying networks host to host network. Second one is network or internet layer in OSI equivalent to the internet layer. Transport layer or delivery to the perfect delivery or reliable delivery to the TCP IP UDP and application layer is equivalent to the combined three layer application layer presentation layer session layer of OSI model. So first four layer provides physical standards, network interface, internetworking, transport functions in this three layer. And the upper layer, application layer having few of the protocols which are under in application layer and combined with the application, presentation and session layer of the OSI model. So it is made up of the interactive module of each of which provide a different specific functionality. So we can say that TCP IP hierarchical model is independent functionality. Rather than in OSI model, the each layer and functionality depends on each other. So TCP IP contain relatively independent protocol that can be mixed and match up depending on the system requirements. See, Let's see in at physical layer and data link layer. TCP doesn't define any specific protocol, but it have support the all standards and proprietary standards. In second layer, network layer is providing the four protocols. It support four protocol, IGMP, ICMP, ARP and RARP. ARP stand for the address resolution protocol. RARP stand for the reverse address resolution protocol, ICMP internet control message protocol and IGMP is internet group message protocol. Next upper side transport layer. In transport layer it give reliable delivery of a message between different process using this three protocol. It support TCP IP, UDP and SCP protocol. TCP stand for the transmission control protocol, UDP stand for the user datagram protocol and SCTP stand for the stream control transmission protocol. So in network layer it providing the delivery between the message or source to destination is provide internetworking functionality. See this functionality. This provide transportation functional facility reliable delivery between the process using TCP and UDP protocol. SCTP protocol is newly defined. Next is application layer in TCP IP model which is equivalent to the application layer, presentation layer and session layer in OSI model. In that it support few of the protocol SNMP, DNS, Telnet, FTP, SMTP, HTTP. This all this protocol we will 
learn in upcoming videos. Let us see summary of the protocol layers. See this graphical representation having two models. See application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. In physical layer the media, signals, binary transmission see in this figure physical addressing at the data link layer routing and logical address at network layer different network devices end to end connection and reliable delivery at transport layer interhost communication at session layer data representation and encryption at presentation layer different network applications at layer 7 application layer see these all are the standards and protocol at different layer these are the standards RS-232, RS-45 etc at layer 1 physical this is the ethernet mac lan atm this is the standards at layer 2 data link layer this is first layer of the tcp ip the protocols in tcp ip ip icmp igmp ospf at network layer internet layer in transport layer tcp udp session layer this protocol socket session establishment presentation layer HTML documents, JPG, MP3, AVI, file extension, and at the last seven application layer, DNS, www, HTTP protocol, SMTP, email protocol, telnet, file transfer protocol, FTP. So it is a summary of the OSI layers as well as the TCP/IP protocol suite. Thank you.